Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you have been asking me some tutorial about magic. So I have decided uh, to come up with a coin magic project. So I'm gonna cover everything from how to palm a coin, coin vanishes, and all the different routines of coin related magic. So this video is all about how to palm a coin. I'm going to cover different types of coin palm. Uh, the classic palm, finger palm, thumb palm. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. For this video, uh, I'm using a five franc uh, Swiss coin, a one rupee Indian coin. I got it from Michael's Magic Shop. I'll put the link in the description. And this is one of my favorite, favorite coins. It's an artifact coin by Illusionist. Uh, you can try this with uh, maybe half dollar a silver dollar and people living in India for this video I would suggest that you use uh, a 10 rupee coin the coin is pretty big and it would be easy uh, for you to start with your coin magic because it would be easy for you to actually hold the coin in your hand so this was actually a classic pump so let's get into it so the first uh, palm is the classic palm. This is what a classic palm uh, looks like. You can move your fingers, and the coin is actually held uh, in the center of a palm uh, by the contraction of muscles at the uh, the base of the thumb and a little the little finger. So you actually hold the coin somewhere like this, see, right? So you see. The contraction between the base of the thumb and the little finger. It looks completely natural with uh, when you do a lot of practice with it. Initially, it would be something like this, a lot of rigidity in your hands. So, in order to practice uh, the classic palm, I would suggest uh, you take a coin, you palm it in your hands, and try to use. Um, objects, other objects like pick some other, other coin, try to hold a cup, move your hands freely. Uh, one of the difficult uh, tricks, uh, I would say, slides to master, but it is also one of the finest secrets of magic. It can be used to hide any small objects, be it a, a coin, you could hide one coin, two coin, and three coin in this natural moment. You can do a production and everything so this is actually a classic palm so in my next video i'm also going to cover how to vanish a coin using all of these uh, coin palm uh, techniques right how do you get into a classic palm you hold the coin between your uh, the ring finger and the middle finger and actually if you see you try to balance it on it turn your hand put the coin in the center of your wrist right and with the contraction between the base of the thumb and the little finger you can actually palm a coin so it looks completely natural yeah i flashed the coin because of the angle you need to watch out for the angles keep your hands steady you can keep it on the table Keep it there, keep it on the side, wherever you want. Uh, the second technique that I'm going to talk about in the this video is how to do a thumb palm. So this is what actually a thumb palm looks like. You hold the coin uh, by its edges between your thumb and this area, right? You hold it like this. This looks like this is actually a thumb, thumb palm. It can be used to vanish a coin. Uh, could be like this. You take the coin, you give it a shake, and it vanishes. Uh, I'm going to cover all the different types of vanish in my next video. So hold the coin between the first two fingers by its edges. I'm going to show you. Right? As you curl your fingers, try to clip it, clip it between the thumb and the first finger. 
this is what thumb bomb looks like it is way more easier uh, than the classic palm so the third type of palm that i'm going to talk about is the down palm uh, i saw this uh, technique first in the movie prestige and this palm technique was used to produce a key by one of the uh, actors so this is what a down palm looks like you hold the coin between uh, actually the coin is held horizontally in the fork of the thumb by the pressure between the thumb and the flesh uh, at the first finger this is what the thumb palms look like and if you see uh, it can be used to produce a coin something like this one of the methods of coin production you can vanish the coin it goes so this is called uh, the down palm the next palm uh, which i'm going to talk about is called the finger finger palm uh, this is one of the easiest technique and it can be used when you're doing magic at the table or even if you're standing so the finger palm something looks like this so you hold the coin between the base of the uh, the middle and the second finger the middle finger and the ring finger and you just curl your fingers and you hold it in this grip right the disadvantage of uh, the finger palm is that you actually cannot open your fingers to show your hand empty which was not the case in the classic palm your fingers are open you could snap do all kind of talking so uh, this is only drawback which i feel the finger palm or technique has so all you do is you take a coin hold it between the first and the uh, second and the uh, third finger and you just drag it to the base of it and you palm it so it looks completely relaxed you can when you're doing magic at the table and be used as a production technique you just drop a coin i'm gonna cover everything in the later video so this was actually uh the finger palm okay the next uh technique which i'm going to talk about is called the back palm uh, this is this palm can also be used for cards. It is one of the most important uh, techniques in card production, where the magician pulls out multiple cards from air. So this is what a back palm looks like. You take a coin, you vanish it. So back palm is actually when you take the coin from uh, the front <coughs> to the back. So it rests uh, on the back side and um, with the grip from the first finger and the little finger uh, you can even show both sides of the hand empty so in order to do a back palm you hold the coin between the second finger and the third finger the middle finger and the ring finger <coughs> with uh, the thumb supporting it you curl your fingers you hold the coin between the first finger and the last finger and you straight out your hand straighten out your hand initially it would be very tough for you uh, i would suggest try to use a bigger coin try to use it with uh, some cardboard or so it would be easy you get a practice hold of it and in order to make the coin go from back to front all you need to do is you turn your wrist inwards like this with your thumb pull the coin to the front and hold it between the first and the little finger so in slow motion it goes like this you take the coin you go with the back palm you turn your hand and you show it empty and to get it back again turn the hand move the finger and take it to the back so this is called the back palm and the last technique which I'm gonna show you is called the back finger clip it is something like this you take a coin you toss it in there and it goes and you bring it back 
so let's get into let's get into the detail of the back uh, finger clip the back finger clip is actually when the coin is between the first and the second finger at the back of the hand this is called the back finger palm like this it goes it's pretty visual uh, this technique it has some angles people cannot be on the sides the audience should be on your left side of the uh, when you're performing so in order to do uh, the back finger palm hold the coin by its edge between the second finger and the thumb in the motion of flicking the coin into the air bring your index finger and hold it with this edge and open your hands this is what a back finger palm looks like you can show both the sides empty right. yeah, I just flashed it so I generally don't use uh, this technique I generally use the classic palm the finger palm in most of my uh, coin magic when I'm performing for the audience so yeah you take the coin between the middle finger and the thumb you vanish it and in order to bring the coin from back to front all you do is you follow the back palm technique you turn your hand move your wrist and with your thumb push the coin inwards and open your hand right and you can do this again these are some of the coin palm techniques that you can use so we have covered the classic palm uh, the finger palm back clip palm the back uh, the thumb palm down palm and uh, one more so practice for the week and uh, you'll get used to it in no time if you like this video i want you to hit the subscribe button like this video share it with your friend and uh, in the next video of this project i'm going to cover how to vanish a coin using all the uh, palming techniques that we have just learned so see you guys stay safe